Damn, sweet, this shit crazy.
check one two mic check one two can you guys hear me loud and clear if you guys can hear me loud and clear run up the ales run up the good mornings real quick for the one time um how's everyone feeling this morning man if you guys have not already shown that love and support like we mentioned before man run it up with some nice little ayos and some good mornings welcome welcome back to the horizontal streams your guys' favorite type of streams i should say um how's everyone feeling man good morning man happy april man if you guys haven't already seen uh we will be going over today or this month's drops seems like it's not too bad after all family um i don't think that this month is going to be bad at all i actually think there's going to be so much volume going on this month that it might be one of the better months of this year um but Again, we will definitely see how that goes. Nothing too crazy, but also nothing too dry this month. So we got a good amount of stuff going down. If you guys don't mind, run up the AOs in the chat, all right? Run it up real quick. And shout out to Dez. Once again, um, Dez shows that love and support. And I did make a new membership for anybody that, want, that does want a uh, actual like connect direct link to your boy BG. So Dez, after the stream... I will definitely get to uh, get to get your information, and then whenever you do need your boy BG, just say the word, text your boy BG, and I'll get you guys that direct contact right then and there. Instead of you guys having to wait and um, involve social media along, you guys will get my direct cell number. You guys do know I got two phones up here, one for work and one for the personal. So um, I will definitely, definitely give you guys the personal direct connect so you guys don't have to worry too much about waiting on your boy BG with the response. You guys, I'll see it right then and there, and then we can start connecting outside of social media and YouTube and all that good, good. Uh, whenever it does come to it so shout out to des on being the very first person becoming a bg fam exclusive member up in there so we appreciate you 1000 percent, and hopefully that will help me with the channel a bit more with the funds and stuff so if you guys do want to upgrade to the newest membership up in there it perks one of the biggest perks which is basically the most like probably the most important thing about that perk is that you guys will get your initial contact with your boy bg outside of social media it's just direct cell number um, so you guys can contact me whenever it is, text me whenever it is, and then when it comes down to shock drops, whenever I will go live for these shock drops, I will drop you guys the info first before anybody else, even if I'm going to be dropping a video. Um, so just giving you guys a heads up on that, family. In case I do know anything before I jump on on a video or a live, you guys will know before anybody else. Um, so that's another perk right then and there. But yeah, shout out to Des once again on being the very first person to join up the new membership that I popped up. We appreciate you 1,000%. Like 1,000%. Much love. And um, I'll get your contact and everything um, after this uh, after the stream. But um, hopefully you guys enjoyed the three-day weekend or four-day weekend. Depends on uh, whoever didn't go to work um today because i know some of you guys don't have work today but i know um, i don't but i still have a meeting to get to at around 2 p.m eastern standard time so if it was up to me i'll be staying longer but we will be doing two streams today we're gonna be starting to push those streams as time goes on baby uh renee what's up evo kid what's up uh just kicks li what's going on papito what's going on tommy mcdaniel i want to pop up this new overlay real quick for you guys i've been slowly popping up overlays as time goes on this is an important one for you guys i'm gonna pop it up right now while you guys are here um okay and as you guys see you guys see this in on the screen right family y'all see this on the screen right um i'm gonna pop it up for you guys right here if you guys don't see it let me explain it to you guys it says all right if you guys can't see that it says, drop a comment in the chat. I will try to read every comment. So that means every legit comment. I'm going to try my best and hold my word for it. So please stay patient. If I do not see your comment, please, please, please type it up again. Of course, if it's like an important comment that you guys really want me to like read up, um, that's non non-personal on that aspect because i know some of you guys be dropping some of these crazy comments when it comes down to sneakers and stuff like drop your comment and if i don't get to it it's honestly not because i'm trying to ignore you it's because i can't really see it or i can't keep up with the chat like that so please drop a comment if i don't read your comment um make sure you guys pop it up once again man don't have to spam it but pop it up as time goes on so that way you guys can, uh, you know, be heard and stuff, man. I'm not trying to, like, ignore you guys. I'm trying to actually read each and every single comment, man. So make sure you guys run that thing up, man. We appreciate you guys 1,000%, man. Color J, what's up, man? Tommy, what is up? Desmond, what's up? Um, I worked half a day Friday. Did anybody else work half a, um, half a day on Good Friday? Let me know in the chat. 
Um, what were you guys about uh, yesterday, man? I know I hanged out with the family Saturday, Sunday, and Friday, man. Friday came through, and honestly, I felt like a, re a refreshed person. Like I felt like over the past couple of weeks, I've been working my butt off um, with a lot of things in, in life. And just, uh, dude, this weekend, I have really felt like I refreshed. Like, I don't know what it was, but yeah. And shout out to Des at BG Kicks. Good morning, hun. Good morning, and Des, once again. I appreciate you, sister. Thank you so much for everything that you do, you and your family. So thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Uh, Big Daddy Cool Kicks, what's up, man? It was a two-day weekend. No three or four uh, for me. Yeah, so two-day weekends, except for schools. Yeah, so as far as for schools, we got four days off. So... Um, you know, something went down at the school, so we actually have a meeting going down at 2 p.m. EST today, so, um, I still have work, um, besides the three-day weekend that we just had, it's, I mean, I feel amazing right now, I feel, and yesterday, we dropped you guys a video, and we went live for you guys for a tiny bit, so, um, I still feel great, man, I feel refreshed, I feel good, good sleep, um, I think you guys can tell from my energy, and I think you guys can tell from just how I, how I've been feeling lately, so. Um, seeing family like definitely helped me out. Like I don't know what it was, but like just seeing family since from like the new year, it's probably one of the best feelings you guys can ever feel, man. It's legit. It's awesome. Um, let me pop you guys up right here real quick, man, because we do have a live cop going down for today. If you guys have not already heard, we do have some Adidas box shoes going down as early as today, family. It's April first. Okay, we got some Adidas box shoes going down. Who here plans on copping some Adidas box shoes up in the building? SP Roman, what's up, man? Had a three-day weekend. Back on the grind today, as you guys should, man. Get on that grind, man. Don't feel comfortable being on that type of vacation mode, man. You guys got to feel comfortable being on that grind mode on a daily basis, baby. We can stay we can stay comfy whenever we made it. Um, but uh, right now, man, we, we got stuff to take care of, man. We got stuff to take care of, baby. Miss Catherine Fire and BG in front of everyone at the meeting today is crazy. Um, let's hope not, man. Let's hope not. I do risk it all for you guys. I don't know if you guys see that, but I do risk it all because when it comes down to work and this, I prefer this over work because this doesn't feel like work to me. This feels like it's like actual, like, you know, this, this feels like something I would want to do for the rest of my career. But... I mean, when it comes down to what I do have a boss to uh, show up to. So we will see. Hopefully this meeting isn't so much about me calling off that day or me coming in late that day because I still go. It revived you? Heck no, says Big Daddy Cool Kicks. LOL. Um, those boxes have to be on April Fool's joke. Nah, man, these are for April 1st. What are you guys talking about, man? This is the April 1st drop. This is the very first. It's posted up on Adidas. It's posted up on Confirmed app. They posted them up the stuff. We're going to see what the real t retail price is for these. Now, I'm just playing, family. I'm going to be honest with you guys. It's definitely looking like an April's Fool's joke. Um, I don't think we would ever get to the point where we're going to rock boxes on our feet. But it's a good it's a good way of, like, you know, getting us rolling for sure. But happy April Fool's, man. Today's the last day of... Nah, I can't even joke around no more. I can't because you guys aren't going to take me serious. I was going to say something, but maybe maybe we'll move that to some some time, some, a different time frame to catch you guys off guard. Uh, Season says they're going to put BG stream up on the big screen and explain to everyone why he calls out for work is crazy. Uh, price upon request for the box shoes. I know this would probably be like, I don't know, for boxes, probably be somewhere around like 20 bucks, perhaps. That's, I don't know probably 20 to 15 bucks knowing inflation that's how much i would price these up for would you guys actually ever pay for box shoes i'm actually genuinely curious because there's some of us out there that would be like kind of woke enough to like do it brian mo no diddy vanessa brian starts to sell kobe rings for nine hundred seventy eight thousand dollars. man i've seen that it's in auction right now no kobe isn't that his championship ring his first championship ring does anybody got the link to that if they don't mind dropping it? Isn't this it right here? Hold on. Isn't this it right here? This is it, no? Close to a mil. Final price, 927200 This it right here. How much would you guys pay for that, man? I I can't I can't see myself paying anywhere near that, man. I'm not gonna lie, man. A thousand dollars, take it or leave it. I can't, man. That's too much. That's too much. I need a. You guys can buy two houses with that if you guys wanted to. 
I created some uh, SB box shoes. If anyone is interested, let me know, says SB Romy. Uh, don't they know you stream? What if they just watch you BS them, says Bruce. I mean, listen, family. When it comes down to it, I'll let you guys know after this meeting. How about that? I'll let you guys know. I don't really know what's going on. I really don't. I don't know what this meeting is about. It's definitely last minute. We weren't supposed to have work on a Monday. So just know if I do get fired, it's looking like we're going uh, to be here for a bit more longer than usual, aren't we? Um... But yeah, we got a meeting for 2 p.m. EST. We'll see how that goes. I'll let you guys know. I thought it was Kobe's dad that uh, was auctioning off his uh, championship ring. I'm not so sure. We should really read about it, though. Um, I don't think it tells you guys on this post, does it? But some of these cards are crazy, man. The way they be selling them for hotcakes, man. All right. The new owner, not Joe Bryant, is our uh, co-signer by the Bryant family in 2013. The new owner, not Joe Bryant, is our co-signer. Consigner. Hopefully, I'm saying that correctly. I'm a, I'm a, I'm assuming it's Joe Bryant's then, or before Joe Bryant, it was Joe Bryant. So, I'm assuming. But it seemed like it was like a it was a family idea then. No, maybe. I'm not so sure. I'm not tapped in like that. Y'all can let me know. But these these this this price tag is crazy. Someone's got a lot of money to be spending it on a championship ring like that. Crazy. Why are they selling it? It's a great question on that, man. It's not like they, they need money, do they? I don't think so. I I just think, I don't know. I would have definitely kept it for um like maybe like fam family heirlooms or just like, you know, it's something that you guys cannot replace, I, I, I wouldn't think. Good morning, family and friends. And BG Kicks pay $100. Appreciate you 1,000%, Blue Widow Spider. Uh, Renee, what's up? That's one house in my neighborhood? Hey, that's exactly what I'm saying. I'd rather buy a house or something crazy with that than just a ring. A family idea level. What is that, says Curtis? I don't know. Listen, I really don't know what type of family. I'm not judging the Bryant family or anything like that. Sorry, but if this was part of the family's, like, you know, prized possessions, I probably, I can't see myself selling it like that especially especially if it's like you know from code man the confirmed app is legit entering you to enter a raffle confused question mark says francis um let me actually just double check on that because let's see real quick we see fear of god do they still got the boxes up in there i don't see it it was posted up on uh on for a bit if you guys got the link if you guys are a mod but I don't see it. I don't see the link. I don't see the spot no more. Uh, truth be told, man, the first thing that's going to be going down for this month, it seems like it's going to be fear of God. Fear of God, if I'm not mistaken. That's what's going to be going down. The uh, the sneakers, the whole collection for February 3rd. Um, Not going to lie, family. I, I, do, I do see some things that I kind of like about the, uh, the collection, but the price tag is just too heavy. Too heavy for your boys' pockets, but um, I'm almost certain that the first thing that we're going to be seeing are the sneakers, man. The sneakers. And there's like a certain basketball sneaker that's supposed to be dropping for the third, if I'm not mistaken, too. But for some odd reason, I'm not so sure where it's going to be uh, popped up on. Maybe Soul Retriever got it real quick. But we're definitely going to be going over um, this month's drops, man. Let's go get straight to it. All right, April 1st is already up in here. You guys caught a couple of things going down. You guys got some LeBrons for you guys, some Jordan 1 method of makes lucky greens, which there is a SB green type of Shrek looking SB that's going to be going down pretty soon as well too. I don't know if you guys have seen uh some seen some images on those. We'll pop it up right here. I'm pretty sure they're starting to call them the S cargos, right? And now I'm starting to realize why they're calling them S cargos. Um, let me see master or we'll pop up private selection Instagram. Private selection um, IG. All right. Instagram. Let me see. Here you guys go. Master Chef Ian, right? And private selection dropped us this right quick, real quick, a couple of days or a couple of hours ago, I should say, because a day ago. Whoever buying that ring ain't working about 927000 
I'm sure if the one uh, if the person has one million to drop a ring, he already got houses, cars, and everything he still wants. Probably a pocket change then. You know what? That that brings up a good point. Not everybody makes the same amount as everybody else. You're right. One thousand percent. I'm assuming, right, that he's got his priorities straight before buying something that's probably just for funs and giggles and stuff. Um Vanessa cut them off. Cut them off. Yeah, I don't know the story behind them and stuff like that. Probably don't even know like a a percent of that of what's going on behind doors and stuff, right? But um I mean it's done. It's done and whoever got that ring is a lucky person and just got a, a lot of money to spend on. It's on my app. I can't see it on my app unless I have to update it. I can't see it unless I update it. It's too hot for boots now. It's not too bad. I mean, yesterday it felt amazing outside. Uh, but what are your guys' thoughts on this Dunk Low SB up in here, man? They were first called the Dinner Place, but it seems like they switched it up to Escargo. Hopefully I'm saying that correctly. And I'm pretty sure now with the color blocking, I'm seeing what it is now. Like, if you guys search up, I mean, I don't, I'm not fancy like you guys are. So I don't really eat Escargo or Snail, whatever you guys want to call it, right? Um, but the colorway scheme on the escargos, uh, it, it's kind of, it's kind of resemblant. Escargo. And some images. Brace yourselves, family. If you guys don't like snails, might as well just turn around and not look at them at all. But, um, I, I do see the resemblance to like the, the, I guess the, the brown or the tan with the green look. This kind of looks gross to me. I'm not going to lie. But if you guys are a fan of escargo i mean we can kind of see somewhat of the resemblance but they could have went with something else differently with the name to be honest i kind of like the dinner plates a bit more to be honest because of the insole insole is kind of nice and neat so wait you thought someone was gonna buy the ring and not filthy rich already lol listen you'd be surprised man i've seen people buy some crazy grails within the sneaker community all right, and not have a car yet, or not have a nice house yet. So, you'd be you'd be surprised, especially here in New York. Come on now, Curtis. I know you know, especially here in New York, man. I've seen people rock so much. I'm telling y'all, I'm seeing people rock four thousand, five thousand dollars, man. I've seen people rock those Air Mags. I've seen people p buy some Air Mags before they even get a house. Legit. Here in New York, here in New York, no cap, no cap, fam. Uh, that's Nail SB. Yeah, I knew these were SCAR goes. I saw them. Uh, I saw the name dinner, uh, dinner plate. These are part of the Olympic pack since it's a uh, delicacy of Paris. Interesting on that. The box shoes online app enter only. Uh, says shoes is not meant to wear. Question mark. Read it. Read up on it. That's so weird. How come I can't see it on my app? Unless I got a um upgrade or update i should say let me go and confirm that real quick um but there's some calm little features on this one real quick it's got a different variety of like what is it this is um some suede going on some silver going on some tan some brownish features up in the shoe it's got a lot of color blockings up in it that i think hits for this sb I'm not i'm not so much of a fan of green like that but um, I I kind of like I kind of dig this one right here. I kind of dig this one right here. Um, I was mentioning it to the family yesterday when we did our quick little stream. Um, that if these were to drop this year, I would probably go number two on these, besides number one being Futura SB Dunk Lows. But you guys can let me know in the chat. You guys can let me know in the comment section. What are your thoughts and where would you guys rank the SBs for this year? Um, yeah. Hi, I'm back. What's up, Jay? How you feeling? Vic, what's up, baby? Brooklyn loves the Lakers. True story, BG, about New York. I'm telling you guys. I'm telling you guys. Ew, what the F was that nasty AF? Nope. Absolutely not. No way. No how. Guys, they don't look too bad, do they? I like them, says Wavy Chandler. You'll see a lot of unusual things going down in Soho for sure, fam. If I don't hit, it's just an SB, says Curtis. Yeah, for a fact. No one's claiming that you guys got to go for them like no tomorrow. But these are pretty clean in my opinion. These are pretty clean for a green sneaker that I don't typically tap in with. I would say it stands out pretty nice. 
The small small little details for your boy. Need for Turos and Verdi SBs. So, okay, so we got the S car goes. You guys got the Verdi. Well, technically, we don't really know if the S car goes are going to drop this year, do we? I'm assuming they're going to drop this year since they already got a first hand look. But, um, yeah, you guys got the S car goes, the Verdi's. You guys got, um,. You guys got Futuras. Those are three SBs already right now that's been like gravitating towards like the top main attraction for this year. Um, I'm going to bring it up just because I feel like 2023, when it comes down to SB, set the bar pretty high. Could any of those three outdo any three SBs from last year that we've seen? I'm actually very curious. Are the Verdes and the Futuros two alone where you guys can, can somewhat keep up with the sneakers from uh, the, the SBs from last year? Or are we still thinking that 2023 is like crowned upon like SB King for for releases? Because there's a good amount, man. I, I just don't see the, the same vibe to SBs this year as it was last year. And I know I'm not no SB head like that. But I'm just seeing from, from a distance. I don't think the SBs this year will beat 2023. Everyone says all these are going to be GR releases. Also more stocks. That's really good, man. It's still going to be a tough car. I can definitely see a lot of people getting headaches over these. Definitely see a lot of people. I've met some some of you guys in the in my DMs have been mentioning about these, how they need them in the collection. Trey Wave for Life says, "Um, uh, what they drop tomorrow? They drop what tomorrow?" Trey Wave. I'm pretty sure there's going to be a lot of people up in here going to be trying to pull off some April Fools. How many April Fool pregnancy jokes today? Oh my gosh, here we go. Uh, those shoes look more like Shrek. I mean, yeah, I could definitely see it. Uh, these shoes are more like Shreks. Uh, Futura Dunks are the only dunks that have a chance to compete with 2023 dunks. So not even the Verdes? Because I feel like Verdes got a slight chance. Like I feel like Verdes right now are, are going to slowly creep up on us with hype. At the very end of it all, and like then we'll start considering it being one of the better ones for this year. I don't know. Verdes are growing on me. Verdes are growing on me. Even the Ashads, the Ashad, and we're starting to get word that the Verdes are supposed to drop uh, later this summer. Hey, I'm not trying to hype them up. I'm just family. Remember, I'm not trying to hype up anything. I'm going based off of my opinion on things. And I've also seen another pair of Ashads in an all-black scheme, which looks pretty neat as well, too. So I'm starting to I'm starting to see the vibe with Ashads like that. Futura and Live, um, or no, Futura and Live, Love, Laugh is all I need. Um, and last year was better for SBs. Do we still know if those Live, Love, Laughs are going to be dropping this month? Because I still haven't had a date for that. The only ones that I have a, a date for are the floral, not the florals. What are they called again? We popped it up on the um, on the SB releases or the uh, Nike releases for uh, our last video. It's supposed to be for the 22nd. We'll talk more about that as time goes on because we still got plenty of time. We're going to start going at it strong with each and every single release, I guess, starting 9 a.m. since we're still ki uh, kicking it, uh, kicking off with uh, with these SBs. Wavy Talon, what's up, man? They are tough. I regret selling my Jarrito so bad, says DG. Uh, DG, how much do you sold them for? Shout out to PZ up in the building. Shout out to RH up in the building. All right, we appreciate you. Shout out to George up in the building. Shout out to Vermeil5, a.k.a. Aaron up in the building. Yeah, the Verdes are cool. Should pop them up on the screen. Let me see. So I didn't mean to add that extra E up in there. But I don't know, man. I can definitely see it growing on people, man. Last minute, they're going to grow on people. I feel like these are going to be up there. These are going to be up there. If you guys really see that fur and that corduroy like or that canvas like uh, material going on with the sneaker, I think it's going to be pretty uh, uh, a fan favorite. <laughs> Yo, what's good, BG? What's up, Diego? I'm curious if you guys are a fan of Sean Witherspoons, would you guys be a fan of these? Because they kind of have, well, 
Again, that canvas-like material, that corduroy-like material, I don't know what it is exactly, but I, I kind of feel like it hits different on a shoe. I'm asking you um, when they drop into this tradeway. No, they're not dropping. Well, which specific shoe uh, tradeway are you speaking about? Just in case so I don't mix it up a bit. Which specific shoe? Pop it up in the chat so I can pop it up um, and try to give you the info. Um, yes, they're dropping already in shops in EU. Sheesh. Live Life dropped at Skate Shop in Australia yesterday. So, yeah, we should be seeing something going down for this month then. Or very soon, actually. Abby Jacobs, I asked you about the Eshaw Maxes and they dropped you hating on them. Yeah, so, Tommy, as far as for the Eshaws, man, it depends on the color blocking. Because I'm not just going to cop anything Eshaws. It's got to be the color blocking for me. It's got to be the color blocking. So, I know that the the Eshaws and that Vesti Verdi vibe would definitely be a cop. And then an all black type of time in two wouldn't be too bad. I've seen it. I forgot where exactly in the internet I've seen them. But for Eshaws, it's got to be the color blocking. It's got to be the color. I can't just rock them just to rock them. It's got to be that color blocking also to go well with the silhouette. Or else I'm not pulling them off. That's just me though. That's just me though. But Eshaws are nice but very not for me, says Karen. Shout out to Karen up in the building. Karen, how's your... um? How was uh, Easter for you? If you guys do celebrate, man, let it be known in the chat. Those are atrocious. I'm sorry, says season. Hey, everybody's got their own. Um, everyone's got their own vibe. I send you something. Says um, as we run. Let me see real quick, man. If you, of course, if you guys got any thoughts and anything that you guys want to bring up on the chat, pop it up in the chat real quick for the one time, or send it to my DMs. All right, let's see what this is about. Um, evolve skate store view story. Oh, snap. There you guys have it. Look at that. Available in-store now. So, skate shops are having them up right now, currently, man. Yep, yep, yep. Live, love, laugh. This was like a day ago, too. Middle America. Okay. Yeah, we should be seeing this bad boy soon, then. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. You got some got some cement grays as well, too, going down for this year, August. Is that what it is? I mean, if you guys already got the white cements, you guys don't really need the cement grays, do you? Because they kind of look very similar to them. I sold them for 600 on StockX. I mean, if you sold them for 600 that doesn't seem too bad because you can definitely... Um, you guys can definitely snag them up, man. You guys can definitely snag them up back, I guess, for around the same price you got them for. Uh, Joseph, what's up, baby? All good. Peace out. What's going on, Joseph? I don't know if you were commenting throughout the whole entire time, but this is my first time seeing your comment, man. Bro, what's up? Glob, what's up, man? Those loving and laughing dunks are clean as F. Really? I can't wait to cop those dunkies. Easter was wonderful as, um, you know, the weather was nice and I had fun with the fam. How's your Easter, BG? It was amazing. I can't complain, man. Family visited. I hung out with the fam throughout the whole entire weekend and then we brought it back for Sunday, uh, Sunday evening. That's about it, man. Can't complain. Can't complain whatsoever. Um, okay, family. Let's see what's going to be going down for some of these drops for this April, man. Because it is already April 1st. Let me just go ahead and go to Soul Retriever real quick and see what we can pop up real quick, man. Um, I'm not so much of a fan of the uh, Fear of God drop that's going to be taking place. But I think that's going to be the very first thing that people are going to be um, you know, showing that love and support for, I guess. Um, but let me just see what's going on for April 1st up in here. You guys got some 9060s, some LeBron, some Sambas, um, some Vermeer 5 from what it seems like for today. Nothing too crazy. If you guys look at anything or if you guys see anything that you guys like, let me know in the chat, man, so I can pop it back up. Um, but I think the very first thing people are locking in on are the Fear of God drop, which is... Yeah, the clay Miami greens and the desert yellow Indiana red. So if you guys are aiming for those, I mean, you guys can definitely, definitely let me know. But that's on April 3rd. Um, what are your guys' thoughts on the Fear of God drop? Whether or not you guys mess with the basketball shoes. I know that some of these uh, NCAA athletes for March Madness or Sweet 16, um, these Sweet 16 athletes have been getting some nice little sneakers. Some of them being Kobe, some of them being Fear of God. Um, you guys can definitely let me know what are your thoughts on this bad boy right up in here. I did see that. Ha um, oh, you saw early stock then, fifty thousand stock. That's not too bad. So I would expect them to be really okay. Not too bad. Yeah. As far as for early stock, there's a couple of shoes that right now currently that I've seen for early stock. I mean, um, if you have seen the Live Laugh Loves, have you? And uh, I'm assuming that you guys seen the Jordan Fours as well too, right? Which is somewhere around that two hundred twenty-five thousand. 
I'm assuming. But Jordan 4 Sulfurs are looking pretty good on that type of timing as well, too. Not too bad. Bernard, what's up? Good morning, BG. Good morning, Bernard. Um, ABG, those really going to have Nike on back? Um, I don't know about all that, check, uh, check over stripes. I really don't know, man. Those New Balances 1000 is going to drop April 24th, but I'm going to be a GR first, not the Joe Fresh Goods pair. And that 1000 silhouette doesn't seem too bad, but it depends on what color blocking scheme they're going to be choosing. Because there's a lot of... There's a lot of colorway schemes for that th uh, for that New Balance 1000. It's a lot of colorway schemes going down pretty soon. They're going to be pushing that silhouette. They're definitely going to be pushing that silhouette. Uh, Jay, what's up? Curtis, what's up? Matt, what's up? RH, what's up? Crazy on Minds, what's up? Check over Stripes. Welcome back, family. Once again, we appreciate you 1,000%. Um, anybody else, please keep them coming. Um, this is a copper drop. Let it be known in the chat. Checks over Stripes. All right, it seems like everybody's dropping. Everyone's dropping on the chat. It seems like I'm, I've not seen not one person going for Fear of God as a minute. Um, in a minute, those Fear of God shoes are lazy. Just the color of the toe box. Um, it's supposed to be somewhat of a you know that type of aesthetic where you guys can wear on the court and off the court. It's like a lifestyle wear, but performance like the Devin Booker's. Um, but I guess it depends on that price tag too, man. Because if they were to be a bit more affordable, I could see people going for them, but two fifty is a it is it's it's pretty expensive, man. Two fifty is the same price tag as some what it, aren't aren't foam posits two fifty, and that's kind of that's kind of tough to pull off too, them uh them foamies. So I don't know, man. At two fifty price tag, it seems pretty expensive, but I see what um I guess Jerry's trying to do as well too when it comes down to I guess lifestyle wear and his prices and stuff. I guess they're still affordable because it is Fear of God, the brand. So um, I see what they're trying to get at. But 250 is still pretty pretty pricey when it comes down to it. Um, then you guys got, I believe, the Noctas, right, that we've seen Shock Drop not too long ago. Uh, this could be looked upon as being somewhat hyped up. Um, not to me because obviously I'm, I'm a fan of Drake and everything like that. But I'm still not so much locked in on Nocta just yet other than the Air Force Ones um surprisingly right um you guys can let me know are you guys gonna be going for the orange or the total oranges whatever these are called right not the total orange hot step twos um if you guys already hit them for retail on the shot drop congratulations but you guys will have a second go around april 4th with a bit more stock if i'm not mistaken so we shall definitely see how this will go fear god kicks them joints whack on screen colorway is a miss oh snap you guys are not digging them whatsoever Got a Gamma 11s dropping in November? Nah, no way. Gammas? When is this? I thought it was only gonna be uh Jordan 11. Um, that's that's gotta be April Fools going down. Is that actual facts? I can't trust people today. I really can't. Are you guys telling me Gamma 11s are making a comeback this year for November? Dude, that's arguably one of the better Jordan 11s for this. Uh, in my opinion, Gamma 11s are up there, man. I want to say they're actually one of the best for me. For for me, at least. Top five for me. I'll probably pop it up as top five, man. If that is going to be going down. That's crazy. You're a Drake stan, BG? What is that? A Drake stan. What the hecky heck is that? I'm a Drake fan. But, I mean, just because it has Drake or it has to involve Drake in it doesn't necessarily mean I'm going to buy it. Um... I guess and not in this colorway scheme, but the silhouette is kind of cool. Silhouette is kind of cool to a give, but it's not it for your boy. Um, and that price tag, two hundo, is is pretty expensive too. So I'd probably say it's a pass for your boy, right? But if you guys are aiming for it, man, um, April fourth for that bad boy right then and there. Um, you guys also got the Air Max ninety five Atlantis going down. This is something else that could be somewhat of a opportunity for you guys to lock in on some 95s. Don't know how much of a fan of you guys are for Air Maxes up in here. Because I know some of you guys locked in for Air Max Day. But uh, I just don't know if you guys are aiming for the Atlanta vibe to things. Um, Y'all can definitely let me know in the chat. This could be somewhat of a sellout if you guys are tapped in in Atlanta, I guess. If you guys are trying to rep. If you guys are trying to rep, you know what I'm saying? Um, I like the colorway scheme. I like the colorway scheme. I like the Phoenix thing that they got going on up in here. I believe that looks like a Phoenix. I'm not so sure what else it could be. Um, no, Gamma 11 is cap. Yeah, I would I would be thinking. 
But guys, family, don't. It's April Fools. Remember that. So like, you guys are about to like catch me off guard. I can't tell if you guys are joking or not. Or guys, remember it's April Fools. All right, you guys are gonna catch me slipping each and every single time because I can't tell if you guys are joking or not. They messed up on the ninety fives with the ATL mess. AOBG, you sign up at DSG for book ones? Nah, not so much for book ones, man. Book ones, this time around, for the hikes and the havens, it's not a must cop. I would say it's a calm, clean cop, but it's not a must cop. I'm still waiting for the right book one for me to say, okay, I'll go for them. Because I think when it's all said and done, I should be owning at least one pair of book ones. Because they look they look pretty neat. They look pretty neat, and I'm and I'm running up my uh my basketball shoes right now, man. Matter of fact, guess what? Someone actually recorded me at playing basketball the other day. And uh, there's this guy, I guess, I mean, listen, when it comes down to it, everybody has their whole form of playing, but this guy that plays basketball near my neighborhood and stuff like that, um, I guess he was, he was winning, he was on a streak of playing ones, um, he's a like short stubby guy, he's very quick, he's got a quick step, and he has this like very much, um, he has this very much uh, unorthodox way of dribbling, it's like a dribbling of like pounding the ball as fast as you can and trying to beat try to beat you to your first step. So like he's just trying to blow by you. And he has this weird shot that you just don't think it's gonna go in, but it keeps on going in some way, somehow. And um I actually put against him and I need some new basketball sneakers because I felt like I was slipping and sliding, but I still I was still holding my ground. Um because as soon as I, I grabbed the ball, I, I was not missing. I was legit going out. Do you guys would you guys want to see my one v one versus this one guy that someone recorded because they thought I was gonna get crossed up like crazy? Um, he ain't messing with the book ones. I'm not messing with the book ones with the certain colorway schemes because I'm not gonna just buy each and every single book one. I need to look for that one specific one. We need to have that one specific color blocking for me to just cop and then move on to the next. Um, to the next basketball singer because I'm not going to be buying more than one book one. Not this year, at least. Not de Definitely not no more. I'm not trying to buy um, more than just one basketball performance singer because I really don't need it. I really don't. When I stick to one basketball sneaker, I stick to the that, that same one throughout the whole entire year. I typically do not like to mi mix my shoes up because it throws me off a bit. Packer says, ball is live. What up, BG? What are you going for, for, uh, for this month? I think... For this month, we're we're about to get situated right now, so on, but I think it's gotta be those Trav Scotts, man. Those those Jumpman Jacks to me is probably probably gonna be my most uh anticipated drop for this for this month. BG got dunked on. I mean, I definitely don't get be getting dunked on because I I don't be in the paint. Like I, I stay I stay playing the guard, man. What up, BG? Good morning to you. What's up, Chris, man? Good morning, good morning, good morning, man. BG, bring back those push-ups, start low. I love all. Hey, wait, what? Are you guys calling me weak? Yo, your boy's been your boy's been doing justice, man. For push-ups, I've been doing my push-ups on a regular basis, fam. I've been doing I've been doing my push-ups for the regular basis type of thing, man. I actually gotten stronger than I have been uh before. Like from last year compared to this year, I feel like I've gotten kinda kinda bulkier. Or kinda cut up more. If I say so myself, of course. Um Let me see real quick. Let me get back to it. Um, here's another one right here in case you guys were interested in some good old basketball Adidas performance, which I think Adidas is still doing pretty well when it comes down to their basketball performance sneakers. Um, here you guys got the AE1s, the AE1s and that Georgia red clay, um, color blocking, which might be the same colorway that he did that phenomenal dunk on, uh, who was it? Whoever it was, I forgot who it was, but that was a beautiful beautiful highlight reel right then and there that we'll probably never forget but i'm pretty sure it was with the georgia red clays if i'm not mistaken these are the same ones that agent zero was rocking on uh with jeans as well too um so we're trying to see what how this is gonna go but i feel like these will be like a quick freaking lightning sellout if i'm not mistaken man nice excuse actually an awful excuse what how is an excuse I'm just saying I can't play ball. It's not my. It doesn't have to be an excuse, all right. I'm just saying the way I work is I can't be switching over shoes like that. It feels weird. You ran the traction down your b-ball kicks, BG. I have, man. I'm about to feel the earth. I'm about to feel the earth pretty soon. But family, when it comes down to playing basketball, it comes down to playing like certain certain sports, man. 
Like, I don't know how people can switch shoes just like that and act like it's normal. Like, it, it feels different. Like, me switching from a Puma, from a Lamella Ball Jordan 1 to, like, a Jordan 11 feels completely different. Like, it feels completely different. I've been doing that for, like, the past two months. I stopped playing with the Jordan 11s, obviously, because I'm trying to give them to someone. But, um... Now nah, it just feels weird, man. I gotta stick to one. I gotta stick to one because your full, your 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 whole, your whole vibe just switches up, man. I don't know how to explain it, man. But when you don't have that same thing that you're so accustomed to, it throws your game off. It throws your game off, man. Well, that's just for me, though. At least. Uh, good morning, BG Kicks. What's goody? How was your weekend? Three hours away from home, on my way back from SneakerCon. Dude, how'd it go, man? Where was SneakerCon this time around? Was it in Denver? Is that where it was? Man, I just cannot with the terms with the uh, book ones, is Chris. And man, I gotta say, when it comes down to the book ones, I think they're pretty neat to those that are, you know, it, it's for a certain, it's for a certain group, man. I feel like it's for for those certain people up in there that are trying to dress, dress up while they're on the court. Like it, I honestly think that it's for like, I I don't know what's that group called, but it's it's just for those that are trying to look really aesthetically pleasing on the court as much as they are outside, off the court, if that makes sense. Like, I don't know how else to put it, but it's for those people that dress up like Devin Book, legit. Show them one v one. Should we show the one v one? I don't know if you guys would want to care for it. I was doing pretty good, man. Once I touched the rock, he was not touching it ever again. Um, top five releases so far this year. Your thoughts slash opinions is Wavy Chandler. Wavy, I will definitely get to that very soon because I want to make sure that I'm going at least halfway through. Um, I want to be at least halfway through the April releases up in there. Um, anybody here going to be aiming for A6? I'm curious because A6 has been, you know, making some noise as of late. Um, when it comes down to some of their sneakers. Um, I know for a fact we had a tough time with the, um... With the, what were they, the hidden, the hidden New York City A6. Well, here you guys got April 5th going down for some A6 gel Nimbus 9. If you guys are aiming for these, let me know in the chat. If you guys are aiming for any A6 this year of any sorts, drop it, drop it, drop it. Um, Like I mentioned before, you guys got uh, book ones going down, the hikes and also the havens, which havens are loaded up already on the sneakers at the hikes, sneaker politics. And um, Inhibit is going to be one of those spots for you guys, as you guys see up here. Shout out to Soul Retriever for the info. Um, anybody here aiming for the hikes or the the Havens? I'm curious. I know some of you guys are not digging it, but these should be a sellout, if I'm not mistaken. At least the Havens will be a sellout. BG, ready for some snow? No, I'm not ready for some snow, man. I don't need snow, man. I need some nice weather, man. I need a tan. That's what I need, man. No, yeah, on barefoot, on bare feet. People were uh were pissed on eighty one McDonald drop. They got bought it or just sold out quick because they were limited. Yeah, no, no cat family. I think it's gonna be the same way with the um, with with the uh with the Georgia clay pinkish vibe. Same thing, family. I have a good feeling that those are gonna get bought it. If anything, they're quick sellouts. I think it's going to be the same thing. But that McDonald's All-American um, colorway scheme weren't, weren't all that to begin with. In my opinion. I don't know. I was considered the peach. That peach um, Georgia whatever or that whatever it's called. Let me see. What's it called again? I would think that those are better than the Americans. Um, the All-American ones. But I would, I would think the Georgia red clays are better than the, um, the All-McDonald's American colorway scheme. But. That's just my opinion on things. Uh, where are the Havens at? Did they not pop up Havens up here? But yeah, you guys got the hikes and the Havens. And Havens are loaded up on Sneakers app already if you guys do want to tap in with that. Um, I do feel like the Havens are going to be a tougher cop than the hikes. Um, but here you guys go. These Havens right here, again, if you guys didn't know already, uh, Devin Booker does have a Kane core show. And this is pretty much inspired by his... Uh, by his dog, so it's pretty cool on that all black aesthetic. Again, when it comes down to it, all black sneaker for a hoop and shoot, you guys can't go wrong. These actually look not bad with with the whole Booker lineup, uh, with the book one. So these don't look too bad. Snowstorm on the way, G. April Fools is crazy. I I can't trust you guys at this very moment. 
What up, what up, good morning, what's up, Ferner? Just guessing? It's not so much guessing, I just feel like it's not for everybody. It can be for everybody. Would you guys be rocking them? Big Trash, April releases, says Raekwon. We're getting to the good part. We've got some highlights for this April. It's not too bad. It's not as bad as it was for March. March was only like a good two things, three things, I feel like, no? At least for this one, we got a handful. We got multiple. We got volume, maybe. Yeah, you can't go wrong, actually, says Curtis. DeLeon says, oh, smash that like button up. If you guys haven't already, if you guys are enjoying the stream, if you guys are enjoying the horizontal streams, all right, make sure you guys go ahead and smash that like button. It's 100% for free. And if you guys haven't already, subscribe and hit that bell icon as well, too, man. Showing that love and support up in here on the daily basis. Shout out to Dez. Shout out to SK up in the building. SK, any cops as of late? Resell a personal? I think it's going to be more of a personal. Um, I I don't think that Booker uh, or Book once have too much resell to be uh to be going at it strong in the aftermarket. But I still feel like they're gonna be a sellout regardless. There's some things that sell out that don't even have much resell like that. Oh, what the heck? I thought I was gonna go on stocky stock. Um. I am two days and I'm calling. No, that's not how the song goes. There's, there's this one song stuck in my head. I am two days and I'm calling. I forgot how it goes, but it's it's all over my head right now. Uh, two oh four retail price on these are one forty. Uh, we still got a couple of days left to see how this is gonna go down, but I don't believe that it's gonna be as profitable. Um, but we'll see. We'll see it when time goes on. I know that the hikes are probably going to be more of a personal bet, too. We shall see. Again, I could be mistaken, but I guess it depends on how much stock there will be on that day of. Because then that's going to boost up hype of just a tiny bit wrong. Uh, just a tiny bit more. If you don't know, you just guessing. Don't be offended. How am I offended, family? I'd never be offended with you guys. If anything, I'm more intrigued whenever we have disagreements. I'm more intrigued. Um, no, it's not so much, um, I'm a offended family. It's more about just going with the flow of things. Um, if you guys do think so, then I guess we'll leave it at that. My 10.5 bread fours have shipped. There we go. Congratulations, Renee. DSG signups for the book ones. If anybody is interested, go at it strong, man. If anybody is interested, go at it strong. I mean, if you guys are aiming for the havens or the hikes, run that thing up. I still feel, I still feel like they're going to be a sellout. I still feel like it would be. I got Lost Boys stuck in my head by Trippy Red. Book ones always sell out. Yeah, I agree. I definitely agree. Why would someone think that books are real sellable? I mean, come on. Because they sell out. Again, it's it's the books, all right? It's a where it's one of the nicer looking um well, I can't. That's personal based, right? Personal based, but if I had to pick and choose pick and choose between a jaw one D book ones or Anthony Edwards, right? A E ones. I'd probably say look wise, where I can pull it off on the court and off the court, I probably say D book ones. D book ones are probably be my go to. I feel like the sellout times are getting quicker. Or they're just they're just keep on selling out. They they're doing good. They're doing good when it comes down to the sales. Because they keep on selling. But um, it also depends on the color block. And again, it can't just be just any type of color block. It depends on the color block or else it, it's a no-go for some of us. <laughs> Boogers are for the kids, LOL. Um, okay, so in the case, tell Buddy to go ahead and go for the flip. But that's the thing, man. I don't know if it's going to be as profitable. That's the thing. Because just because they sell it doesn't necessarily mean that they're going to be resellable. Or it's going to be a profitable thing. If I had to pick a booger, I'd choose one. Oh my gosh. Need them books, says Jose. We'll see how that goes, though. Uh, again, these are going to be on the same day of um, the Air Jordan 4 Vivid Sulfurs, right? So that's going to be the main attraction for that day from what it seems like. Um, anybody here aiming for some Air Jordan 4 Vivid Sulfur? What are your thoughts on that? I think it's going to be an easier cup than most Jordan 4s that we're going to be seeing for this year. If not, it should be the easiest Jordan 4 for this year as of right now. Um, 
It's going to be in women's sizing. So that could throw a lot of you guys big boys off. All right. All the big boys up in there with the size. What? With the size 11 and up are pretty much asked out. Um, but not to mention there is going to be the industrial blues after these, which will be a bigger problem to take care of. So they're probably people are going to be holding off on this one and just hope that they see that shot drop sooner than later because it is around that time frame at this point man to expect some type of shot drop going down so i don't want to bring it up too much but i mean industrial blue shot drop is probably going to be the biggest one that we're anticipating um as of right now until like you know it, it releases so we shall definitely see how that's going to go is draymond green done in the nba i'm not so sure francis i'm not so t much tapped in with draymond green like that these photos will sell out, BG. I still feel like they're going to be a sellout with, within a couple of sizes, but we'll see. I don't know. 225 is a good amount, man. It's a good amount. It's a Jordan 4. It's a good amount of uh, 225,000 worldwide. doesn't seem too bad, man. People just be hating on books. Um, actually, fire. Well, that's the thing, Jose. Everyone's got their own picking. Like, they, they like what they like, man. I don't think they're hating as much as like just not digging them, you know. The book one materials don't last on court. They sh uh, they stretch the uh, too much and they're comfortable as heck. But beside that, the performance is lacking. The dual midsole is nice feature, but nothing new. Says Matt. Thank you so much for your honesty, Matt. Um, R. P. Nipsey Hustle. R. P. Man. Myth Thunder Lightning better. And not to mention, thank you so much for that too, but some of us already have a yellow Jordan 4. So would it really be much to go for another Jordan 4 on that yellow aesthetic when you guys already have Lightnings and Thunder 4s? Let me know in the chat. If you guys got a Thunder 4, right? If you guys got a Thunder 4, right? Do you guys really need a Vivid Sulfur 4? If you guys already got this in the collection, and if you guys already got the Lightning 4s, do you guys really need a, Viv a Vivisol for 4? That's why I'm assuming it should be an easier cut, because those that don't have this or the Lightning 4s are probably going to be sticking along with that Vivid Sulfur if they can't, if they can fit into it. Sulfur Sulfurs will be a simple cup. The bigger size will sell out for sure. Now I'm hating off those, um, F those boogers, says Tommy. Oh my gosh. My pops want a pair of those book ones. I mean, listen, hit me up for, um, Joey, if you need me to go for your pops, let me know, man. If anybody needs me to go for those Devin boogers, man, I would love to see them here in person so I can do a review on them and then, uh, ship them off to you guys as an assist. So just let me know. Just let me know. I wouldn't mind because I already know those are going to be a sellout and I wouldn't mind myself seeing them in person just to see how they are because I haven't still seen them in person yet. Don't try to make sense of them uh, with the same colorway. We've been doing it forever, says Curtis. That's true too. But remember with all the amount of Jordan 4s that we're pumping and the amount of Jordan 4s that we probably already have in the collection thus far, right? Because they've been pumping Jordan 4s for, for a good amount of years. We've been buying Jordan 4s for a, a good amount of years. Um, it's going to be at some point where we're going to be starting to get stingy with the Jordan 4s that we're buying. At least that's what I am. That's what I'm doing at least. I need them all to complete my yellow 4s. Ayo fam, what's going on, Benny? George, what's up? Stacking kicks, what's up? Size 12? All right, we'll see what we can do because that size 12 is going to be tough, man. Glaze and Luca fan, of course, says Jose. What about A, man? We got to give Luca his... his his flowers, man. Luca's doing amazing, man. He's always doing amazing. The sulfur has the uh, two different yellow. The sock liner and tongue yellow is more on the thunder yellow and doesn't match the sulfur, says Will Rick. It's interesting. Alec, what's up, man? More to BG. How hard do you think the Kobe's are going to be to get? Um, Hey, they're going to be an instant sellout, fan. Those Kobe's are going to be... Tsk. Them Kobe's going to be... Tsk. That's going to be a toughie, man. That's going to be a toughie. Uh, move it along real quick because it's it's gonna lead up to that. But before we get to the Kobe's, um, we've been hearing about the SBs, right? SB J packs, right? Whether it is that Chicago colorway, right? That Chicago, and you guys got that Celtics vibe to it as well too. This should be for this month of April. 
but it's not going to be for the U.S. I'm almost certain it's going to be for EU, so I'm just giving you, giving you guys a heads up right now. When it comes down to it, JPAC Chicago's and those Celtic Green um, SB Dunk Lows should be for EU specifically. So we're not going to be seeing those up in here anytime soon, I don't think. I'm uh, just giving you guys a heads up on that if in case you guys do hear anything going down as a shot drop, I think, or a restock of Minosaur, it should be for EU. Now, if that's going to be the case for US, I will definitely, definitely drop you guys a short or a video of some sort. So make sure you guys stay tapped in. Make sure you guys hit the bell icon if you guys don't. Um, or if you guys already have me on TikTok, you guys should know anything I drop on TikTok is usually going to be posted on YouTube later on and speaking of which man we are less than 50 followers away to uh tap in with 2000 on tiktok which is a huge blessing so thank you guys so much for growing the tiktok with your boy bg but if you guys do want more updates when it comes down to sbs um the easiest way to get things updated is pretty much on my tiktok because i drop you guys content every single day on tiktok and usually it's the highlight of that day so make sure you guys go ahead and pop up and uh, follow me up on TikTok for more alerts on that type of timing. But yeah, so SB JPEG should be for EU. So just giving you guys a heads up. Sorry, guys. Um, up next, it will be the Kobe's. All right. Up next for April 13th. All right. Um, it's going to be like a Mamba day going down, man. It's going to be the Kobe. I want to say the three pack or something, but it just doesn't make sense calling them a three pack when we don't even uh, got a name for the three. It's just. Flat out Venice beaches, Italian camos, and then you guys got the Phillies. But here you guys got, and I'm starting to see people rock, or not starting to see people rock, but I'm starting to see people grab up early pairs of the Venice beaches. Uh, let me know in the chat when it comes down to it. For April 13th, if you guys had to pick and choose between the Venice Beach colorway, Italian camo, or the Phillies, which one are you guys aiming for? I honestly do think that these are going to do 10 times better than we've seen the Core Purples and the Radiant Emeralds. So don't be surprised as being like one of those up there for a resell. Uh, I mean, it's going to be one of them. 1,000. 1,000%. It's because she likes San Antonio. Renee can't dunk without Kobe's too. Crazy, that's right. Never have. Oh my gosh. Here we go. Turn on all notification, boys. Addictive, what's up, man? I appreciate you 1000%. Welcome back, baby. Um, I need the Italian camos. What are your guys' thoughts on the Venice beaches before we tap in with Italian camos? If you guys don't wanna if you guys don't wanna go for Kobe's and you guys wanna bless up your boy BG, please go ahead and go for that Venice Beach. Um, I'll definitely be trying to do my best to put in the footwork for this one for sure. For sure. I'm going to try my very best because I really do like Venice Beaches over them all as of right now. For each and every single Kobe that we've seen drop this year, um, or that's going to be dropping this year, Venice Beaches has got to be on my top three or number two. Number two. Again, number one has got to be those nine elites. I love those nine elites. Uh, the camels. A lot of people aiming for those camels over the Venice Beaches, huh? That aftermarket price isn't bad. I'm just hoping they aren't 500 plus as Alec. Do you guys suspect that they're going to jump up after the releases? Then Play-Doh Ugly, no way around it. Hey, I like Play-Doh still, man. I like play I'll still play with some Play-Doh. I don't mind. I'm around Play-Doh all day anyways. I mess with Play-Doh. It's oddly satisfying. I even got some... Uh, some some little knickknacks the other day. I got some uh, some marbles that I like to just right, and then I got some nice little cool little rocks that I seen just for like you know for the vibes aesthetic, man. Some, some good old rock Rocco. I don't know what I'm gonna name them, but we got the typical name Rocco up in the building, and we got my my calm little my calm little marbles up in here. I like them. Uh, BG, does Kobe have two secret kids? Question mark. I'm not so sure, baby. I'm not so sure. Curtis, what's up, man? Nope. Got to prove your footwork before you get help, says Curtis. All right. I got you, man. I got you, man. Just wait it up a bit. I'm hoping that they start doing this thing where you guys bring hoopers in to play for your sneakers or to prove, like, hit a free throw or something because I'd be the first one coming up and just locking in on that pair. Bow. Bow. All right. If you guys don't believe me. I got you guys right here, man. Let me see if I can bring. Let me see if I can bring it up real quick. Let me see if I can bring bring up the video real quick. 
All right, if you guys don't believe me, I got y'all, man. I was going to bring it up eventually. It was just a certain amount of time, all right? But like I said before, there's this one guy up in there in the courts. He's a little short, stubby guy. Got an awkward way of playing basketball. Um, And they ended up calling me out. I was doing my initial deeds, shooting around, playing some basketball, just shooting around, doing my calm little... My, my calm little shots, they're like, yo, go play him next. And I'm like, nah, I'm not trying to. I'm not trying to play him next. I got pure pressured, and uh, it didn't work out for them, all right? So let me show you guys real quick. Let me show you guys real quick. Let me just play this bad boy up, all right? So he shot for ball. I told you guys, this guy's got a weird shot. He's got a weird shot, and they go in, and his weight, his form of dribbling is weird. It's so weird. All right, so he blows by me because I know for a fact eventually he's going to try to shoot and I'm going to let him. So that's one up game 11. You see that form of dribbling is weird as heck. All right, that's another shot. Look, he's smiling. He's got his friend. Everybody's against me on this one, by the way. Everyone's watching and like against me and talking their ish. It's all good. He tries pulling this thing off real quick because he's been doing it for quite some time. But I read it. Bop. All right, I read that he tried going through the legs. Ain't going to happen, bro. Ain't going to happen. Now watch me work. I told him, you want that bag? He's like, no, nah, you can have it. All right, bow. All right, I feel good. I got the ball. This is where I want it. You're not going to guard up? Cash. You ain't going to guard up? Cash. You don't want to guard up? Bet. Bow. You don't want to guard up? All right, this guy's drunk up in here talking his ish too, talking about brick. Bow. All right, someone guard me already, man. How many shots do I have to take? Bow. All right, it's all good. I missed that one. I give it right back to him. All right. Some weird, some weird dribbling going on. He's going to his spot. I'm still here. I'm still here. Nothing crazy. All right. Calm vibe. Whoop. That's it, man. We just lighting them up. It's easy. Easy money. Just don't give me the ball. Get to my spot. They don't want to guard me, man. Uh-huh. Play with him. Gotcha. Yo, it's easy money anyways. Wait, do I do I keep it going? Oh, my God. I just don't stop missing. Like, what's going on? Anyways, your boy BG got a jump shot, man. That's about it. Your boy BG got a jump shot. That's about it, man. But uh, I'm telling you guys, don't believe me, but your boy BG got the jimmy. All right? So if you guys are trying to hoop, all right, leave me open. I'm knocking it down. I'm just saying. I'm just saying, but um, yeah, we, we lit his ass up. We lit his ass up, man. On the triple rim, too, it's more of a double rim, but yeah, we can still shoot on triple, too. I'm telling you guys, your boy BG got the shot, man. You guys don't believe it until it's in. Come on, man. I see the dribbling, BG. It's more of like a hesitation with this guy because he doesn't move a lot, so I'm trying to see if he can bite, but he doesn't bite much. He just stays put because he knows... Once I take that first step, I'm blown by him. But he'd rather have me shoot, so I shot. Shit. You playing no comp? Hey, listen, I'm telling you. I'm still what? Comp or no comp? Comp or no comp? We still line up. He dribbles funny. He dribbles weird, and it's different. I'm telling you guys. So if we believe you, will you stop proving you got a jump shot? Yeah, man. I just, you know, when you got a jump shot, you want to show it off. That's all. Anyways, Italian camos. Italian camos. We got the 2024 version of Italian camos right here. Copper drop since you guys are not digging the Venice beaches like that. Italian camos. Which one up in here in this very much chat scenery is going to be going for Italian camos? And if so, are you guys going to be going for the personal? Or are you guys going to be going for... The flip. I'm very genuinely curious. Season, I, I hardly doubt that. Don't give me the ball, man. 
And I got limitless range. I got limitless range, man. I got sniper. The Jordan Knights are comfortable, says Big Daddy Cool Kicks. There we go. I love it. No, see, that footage right there, like, they, they ended up recording me because, again, they were recording everybody that was playing against this dude. So I seen the camera. I'm like, you know what? Might as well, man. They peer pressured me into playing, man. I didn't even want to play with this guy. I didn't even want to. I got peer pressured to. They said, yeah, let's throw him to the lines then and see if he can get, like, crossed up like crazy. <laughs> I got, like, 10 of my friends entering for me. So hopefully, says Alec. Best of luck, Alec. Best, best of luck, man. I think I'm supposed to be going for Will Ricketts, no? Will, are we still doing this? Will Ricketts wants, wants me to go for Italian camos. He's going to be going for Venice Beaches, if I'm not mistaken. So we're hoping on a beautiful, perfect world, he's going to hit for me and I'm going to hit for him. But I have a good feeling that one of us is going to probably hit. One of us is going to probably hit. The other one's going to be asked out. So then that means that person's going to let them go for resale. And then they're going to, nah, I'm playing. Everything is for resale, man. Not with Kobe's, man. With Kobe's, you need at least one Kobe in the collection to be considered. Nah, I'm playing. I don't think so, though. But I feel like you guys would need at least one Kobe for in a Nike collection. At least one Kobe, man. BG chose to be rude morning, not reading out loud, says Will Ricketts. Man, I'm trying to legit read each and every single comment, but to the certain extent that if it's disrespectful, I can't read them. I can't read them, man. Got both Italians and Venice Beaches. Um, can I ask you guys this question? When it comes down to this Italian camo, right, would you guys put it up there with the reverse Grinches? Because I know reverse Grinches are fire and everything because it's like, you know, basically a Grinch, right? It's part of the Grinch family. But if you guys had to pick between the Reverse Grinch and the Talon Camos, which one are you guys aiming for? Which one does does it actually stand out to you guys um, being more, you know, more eye appealing to you guys? Would it be the Reverse Grinches or would it be the Italian Camos? They both got red. The Italian Camos got that dark aesthetic too, though. Um, reverse Grinches might be a little too loud for a lot of people with a lot of people with all that red and the neon and the neon green. Um, can't go wrong with either or. I still pick, I still probably choose the reverse Grinches over them. But Italian Cam was pretty up there, man. How can enter multiple accounts, Coach Mar? Do you, do I need multiple devices or can I pull it off with just one device? I mean, I, I think one they mean by that is like having other people go for them as well too. Grand Rising, what's up LTM? What's going on, famo? I'm not so sure if doing multiple accounts within the same device might be in your favor. Um, but from my, my understanding that people go for one another up in there. So they got heads going after for it, which is multiple devices. So the more devices, the merrier. And of course, if you guys got more than one account, even better, but I would try to like, most likely not do things with just one device, just in case. Camo is nothing more than Kobe 8 Python 2.0. Yeah, you guys are right. Legit almost the same thing going down. It's legit the, the same thing going down, but as a Kobe 8, though, I feel like it looks 10 times better as a Kobe 6. Don't you guys think? Or is, or it might just choosing the 6 line, uh, the Kobe 6s over the 8s all day. Could be. But I still feel like the Kobe 6, these bad boys will probably do the Pythons. Well, I'll do them, I would think. Yeah, we're going to each other. Do you wear a 10.5 in Kobe's or an 11? Yeah, stick to that 10.5, man. 11s are going to be too big. 11s will be too big. I forgot which side you're going for, uh, Will Ricketts. Good day, BG and fam. Italian Camos says Dave. Good day, family. Shout out to the family up in the building, man. Crazy on mine says Italian Camos. Uh, BG, okay, I see you. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. Corey B, what's up? What up, family? What's up, Corey B? Um, how you feeling, man? Happy once again, man. If you guys did not tap in for Easter, man, happy Easter, happy belated Easter for those that celebrate and stuff, man. I know for a fact that some of you guys do. So if you guys haven't heard it already from your boy BG, happy Easter, family, um, or happy belated Easter for those that celebrate. Hopefully, you guys had an amazing time around. Um, I have two accounts, but that uses different emails. If you have an iPhone and another iProduct, you can't be signed onto the same Apple ID. Otherwise, it locks you into your account. 
Yankers. All right, thank you so much for that, Alec. We appreciate you 1,000% for that, man. See, no reason to hype it as a Grinch level, says Curtis. You you onto something. You onto something for sure. You just hype. You just hype. That's all. I am hype. Extremely hype. The three collab. I mean, um, I said the three collabs. The three Kobe's for this year already from one date alone. It seems to be like one of the biggest drops for this year. It's got to be hype, family. It's got to be exciting, man. Um, you guys also got the Phillies. The Philly Kobe 4s. This one right here, I haven't really heard too many people talking about this one. Out of the three, it's usually just the Venice Beaches or the Italian Camels flat out. The Phillies, not so much. Anybody here actually dig the Kobe 4 Phillies? I like the blue. I like the red going down to it. It's not a must cop. I don't really like 4s like that. Um... I'll probably say it's a pass for your boy BJ. I think the main two would probably be the Venice Beaches or um, or the Italian Camels. But, again, if you guys can lock in on that Philly, it could be some chump change for you guys for, um, you know, the other two. The other two. Addictus have six all day. Um, anybody else? Kobe sixes are better. BJ size 8.5 or 9.5. Uh, nine. Just let me know by the time it, that, that day does come. Probably going to be a 9, bro. To be honest, you guys got to go up a size. I saw you stream yesterday, BG, but my nieces were too busy putting confetti in my hair, says Renee. Yo, I love that for you guys, man. The fact that you guys were tapped in with the nieces is amazing. Because I was tapped in with my nieces, too. I was tapped in. You guys seen how big my niece got over the time? Like, it's been a minute since I posted her up on uh, on the stream, so. Uh, what is the other guy doing and guard you once, question mark? That's because he's scared, man. They don't want to guard up. It's all good, man. They don't want to guard up. It's all good, man. Uh, well, you know the answer. You Well, you know that answer, yeah. So far, none of the Kobe's they announced speak to me, says Deontay. Why is that, though? What is it missing? What are they missing? What's missing? Gamma 11 is coming out again, says Just, though. Guys, I don't know if that's... I don't know if that's actual facts, though, family. Where's, where's the, um, where's the rumors coming from? Remember, it's April 1st. It's April 1st. Remember... If you guys see any info on Gamma 11's dropping this year for November, pop it up in the chat. Let me know. Only exciting if you're a Kobe fan or you really need a Kobe just because, says Curtis. That's true, too. Rio, what's up, man? What's good, people? What's going on, Rio Gasso? How you feeling, man? Renee, what's up? George up in here just naming random people up in there. Yes, go to Z Sneakerheads is just though. Oh, snap. If you guys are telling me from Z Sneakerheads, hold on. Family, is this actually going down? I can't tell, man. I don't know, man. Quick Strike Release, Retail 250, Slide Out Box. Quick Strike Release. I don't know. For 250, Retail, Slide Out Box. I don't, I don't know. November with 31 days. N November 31st, family. How many days? I, I'm on November, baby. I don't. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Let's go to the months. Just in case. Family. There's no 31 days in November. This is an April Fool's joke. November 30. You guys got to read that carefully. There's no 31 days in November. It's a April. This is April Fools. I don't recall there being thirty-one days in November. November has thirty exactly, and I'm a November baby. That's on like. Wait a minute. Yeah, so April Fool. That's a good. It's a a good decent one if you guys like. 
BG, click on the great fours. These are calls for seven years ago today. Shiz, I thought they were about to say that these are dropping. These are beautiful. I've only seen them in person at the uh, Brooklyn Museum for the Cause What Party Expo. It's pretty cool, man. Got him. Let me know in the chat. Were you guys believing in that? Let me know. It's all good, Justo. It's all good. Because I know some people don't, don't, don't recall there being 31 days. Rich Boy, what's up, baby? The Gamma should have been the Holiday 11 this year. Way better than the Columbia's. Hey, listen, but the Columbia's haven't really dropped in a while, though. No? The Legend Blues haven't dropped in a while, though. Didn't these bad boys drop after the re-release for Columbia's? Or um, Legend Blues? I'm sure we're going to see this within a couple of years. Trust. I'm sure we are. It, it's, it's, run, it's coming up. It's coming up. I can already see it. I can already see it. If they're bringing back Columbia's, best believe they're going to bring back the, the Gammas. That was a fan freight. John Adams, I was going to read your comment, man. Why'd you delete it? I thought I had someone going for the fours the other day in nine and uh, let me hang in and got a 10.5 instead. Like the F says Bruce. I know, Bruce. That's why you guys got to trust that one person that you guys are going for because truth be told, man, it's happened to me before where I've gone for you guys and you guys don't need the size and I, I've gone for your guys' specific sizes and I don't rock that specific size. I've gone for a nine before, which this person backtracked and said, no, I don't need it anymore. I've got myself and I'm like, oh, okay, sounds good. But then I wasn't, I wasn't able to like, let it go. Columbia's and Gamma's equally meh. Ah, oh, get Curtis, give us something to work with, fam. You guys are saying, well, Curtis is saying Gamma's and uh, Columbia's are not all that. In my honest opinion, both of them are extremely nice and appealing for a Jordan 11. Matter of fact, Break, I think Unbreakable Kicks dropped us some content talking about if you guys seen a Royal Blue... Jordan 11 or Pine Green Jordan 11, would you guys cop? Even those look nice and neat, but like I would still say Legend Blues and uh and Gamma 11s are pretty are pretty neat, man. Those are pretty good, man. For Jordan 11s, very much wearable. And they're just aesthetically pleasing, man. They look really good. Any shock drops today? Not that I know of, Michael. Just be careful. Be careful with Twitter and those shock drop noties today because it is April Fools. Gamma's are overrated as F, LOL. I thought they were pretty neat, man. Especially, well, I'm not going to lie. When it comes down to it, I'll probably choose, I would probably choose um, cap, and gowns, cap and Gowns over eleven uh, over the Gamma's. But they were, uh, I'm over here saying Cap and Gamma's, Cap and Gowns. I'll probably choose Cap and Gowns over the, uh, for the Gamma's. But, um, nah, yeah, they're both sick. They're both sick. It's just having that all black aesthetic with Jordans look pretty tough. This will be the first time BG will be going for me every um every other time he forgets and goes for somebody else. Don't want to hear any excuses, BG. No, I got you, fam. It's already claimed. No one has hit me up about it since you. What do you think about those Jackie Robinson Air Maxes coming out? Well, I'm happy that you guys brought that up beforehand. Before I bring up anything Jackie Robinson, right? Because that's the next shoe that we're gonna talk about. Um. Family, so when it comes down to the Phillies, when it comes down to the Phillies, oh, snap, actually, we got to bring up the fives as well, too. When it comes down to the Phillies, copper drop, I'm assuming you guys are going to be going for copper resale if that's the case, but um, I think Italian Camels and Venice Beaches are the main attractions for show. Um, you guys got the Jordan fives, and then we're going to bring up the, um, yeah, then we're going to bring up the Air Maxes, PJ. We're going to bring up the Air Maxes because that's the next thing that I want to take care of. Uh, for you guys right then and there but here we got the sale fives that we've seen a lot of people grab up early just to do the unboxings and stuff these actually don't look bad man for a jordan five um it don't look bad man it don't look bad it looks a bit more on the slimmer cut right someone's mentioned that these look a bit more slimmer than bulky for jordan fives i think that um i kind of like the aesthetic on that one too i kind of like the shape of it more I kind of like this shape more than uh, usual Jordan 5s. Uh, that being said, does that make it a cop? Probably not because I don't really like 5s like that to begin with. And I'm not trying to spend over $200 over a sneaker that I really don't really appreciate like that. But it still looks really good. Um, one of the nicer 5s that we've seen in a minute that's non-collab. 
That's non-collab. Um, are these a cop or a drop for you guys? Let it be known, man. And three years, BJ has never gone for it. George, because you never asked. Unless you go for Unless you ask me to go for some, like, some that I just, I don't know, man. I can't believe in George. Like, sometimes George plays around too much where I don't know if he's being dead ass or not. They need to re-release the Tuxedo 11 lows, says Corby. Captain Gunn's over the gamma, says RH. Rich Boy says cop. Core B says thumbs down. Jordan 5 sales are fire. I need him copping. Bull Chicken 5s. Pass. Gross, man. Don't let me... Yo. Bull Chicken 5s on, on the 5s are going to ruin the shoes for me, bro. Don't mention them like that. They're going to ruin the shoes for me. That thing's, that thing's look clean, though. But boiled chicken fives is crazy. Um, but yeah, they're clean, family. They're clean. We'll see who the, uh who uh who wants those. Um, I could definitely see them not selling out though. I can see them not selling out and then going under retail and then people going at it strong under retail. So just give or take. Be patient on those. I don't see them being anywhere, um, anywhere being from a top a top like a very difficult release for you guys for Jordan fives. And then here you guys got the Air Max. One, um, Jackie Robinson's, right? Do we have them right here? Excellent. So these bad boys right here will be a big deal for some of you guys up in there, and just let alone it being a Jackie Robinson sneaker. You guys have seen them from past releases, it being a Dunk Low, it being like Jackie Robinson Dunk Lows, Jackie Robinson Air Force Ones, and now we're going to be seeing them, and I guess if I haven't mentioned any other silhouette from Jackie Robinson, um... Yeah, I guess we're going to be seeing them in this Air Max one for April 15th, which is also Jackie Robinson Day. So that would be a perfect day to just drop them things. Are these a copper drop? Do you guys like these? If anybody does want the assist on these, let me know the week of. I will not be I will not be remembering anybody that asked me right now for Jackie Robinson Air Maxes, but I don't want these whatsoever. I could definitely assist anybody up in here. That truly appreciates Jackie Robinson and truly appreciates the Air Maxes. So if you guys have been a fan favorite of the Air Maxes, hit me up. And then um, I'll, I can try going for you guys on that day. But how are we feeling about the Jackie Robinsons? Are these a cop or a drop? Is it your favorite out of the three that we mentioned? Um, what are your thoughts, man? Truth be told, it's an Air Max one. I don't, it doesn't really scream out to your boy like that. So um, it's more of a pass. The Columbia is going to be an OG spec, or are they going to do the uh, like they did with the Gratitudes with the Concords, a reimagined type? No, I think it's going to be like an OG spec, fam. I haven't really heard anything about it being tweaked up or anything of that sort, unless you guys have heard something that I haven't. For 200 bucks, got to do more, says Curtis. Did the Air Max look... Um, them Air Max look like regular GR, dot, 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 pass. Not necessarily for me. Guillermo, what's up, man? I'm copying them Venices for show, though. For show? <laughs> Let's get it, then. Um... Good morning, BGM fam. Good morning, Guillermo. Pass on the Phillies. Uh, says LTM. Um, I love these J uh, Junior Air Maxes or Jackie Robinson Air Maxes. Need a few pairs for me and the wife. He says, Rob, well, best of luck. Like I mentioned before, if you guys want to hit me up the week of for any assist for Jackie Robinson, hit me up, man. I'll definitely go for anybody up in there. Don't know what's going on outside. I don't know if you guys hear that background noise, but my apologies on that. It's very loud outside. Sounds like they're drilling on the concrete. Seems like they're doing more construction. Actually, they are doing construction up the block. So, yeah, that would explain. So, my apologies on the drilling, man. It's extremely loud. I can hear it through the uh, headphones. Um, Des says, I like those. Now, BG knows these jackings basic as ever. But whatever, says Curtis. I'll be honest with you. I don't know if it's because it's the Air Max 1 silhouette. But it just doesn't seem like it's appealing for me. As as it would be for any other silhouette, maybe. Um, like I mentioned before, the dunk loads were cool and everything, but even those I didn't really like as much. They were still cool for it being a non SB and stuff, but um, I don't know, man. I just don't scream. I don't know the Jackie Robinson vibe just doesn't scream out must cop for your boy BG. It just doesn't. Um, cool, nonetheless, cool nonetheless, but it doesn't scream. It doesn't scream out must cop. Um, the Air Force Ones as well, too. Robinson, Air Force One. Um, the Air Force Ones as well, too. They just didn't really scream out too much to your boy BG. I don't know. Maybe because I'm not a, a baseball fan or just don't really tap in like that. 
Uh, what do you think about the Jordan 5 black, white, slash, uh, reverse metallic? John Adams, if you don't mind, send me an image on those. Which one are these? Or if you guys got the skew for that one, please drop it in the chat so I can copy and paste it. We're going to see how it goes on the release with them fives. Not too big on them, says LTM. Um, oh, we can't hear it. You're good? Okay. As long as you guys cannot hear it because it's extremely loud right now. Um... Snap, I lost my train of thought, family. Where was I at before? Jackie Robinson's, that's right. So, I'm assuming that the majority of you guys will be going for it. Is it a cop drop? My friend really likes the Travis Lowe's, all this, but doesn't want to buy crazy resale price. Uh, thoughts on getting reps, question mark. Honest opinion, man, I don't really care if you guys do buy reps, as long as you guys know what you guys are getting into. I gotta say, the real from the fake, the real quality is unmatched from the fake, in my opinion. I've seen good reps. But I still have yet to see anything that's better than the actual authentic pairs. Um, and if you guys are spending that much money on the fake, might as well just spend it on the real, man. I'm telling you guys, you guys get more value um, on the real. You guys get the actual uh, the actual feel for the sneaker, I feel like. Some of the reps might look the part, but they don't feel the part. They don't really feel the part that way. And then you're ending up with something that has no value. Um, well, you guys got the real deal. More of that quality, more of that actual feel for the sneaker with the tech and everything. And then there you guys have it on that. But that's just my take on that. doesn't really matter if you guys rock reps. I got plenty of friends that rock reps. And, I mean, snap. They're still the same person that they are without them or with them. So, I just, yeah. I just, but for me, I'll probably say I'm rocking the real just because, one, it's got value. Two, better quality. And three, I just feel some type of way of rocking the fakes at this very moment. Like, i just rather have the real and know that my money is getting into something that I know for a fact um, I'm paying my hard work money for, man. I'd rather just get the real thing. Might as well. Shoes are already expensive as it is. Even the reps are expensive. I'm just going to put my money towards that real. Make sure that I'm actually getting the real deal when it comes down to the fitting. Because that, that fake fitting, like, again, I've tried on that fake panda, and I've done that real versus fake. Um, and even even if pandas are not as comfortable, I could still I could still tell the difference between that real pair from that fake pair. And that fake pair just felt off. It just felt very bad. Like, it felt terrible. Even if the pandas weren't even meant to be feeling, like, amazing, I could still feel the difference. So just uh, let him know. If he can't afford it, then again, go as he pleases. But I would definitely say might as well spend it on the real deal and get good bang for your buck for your feet. Because you're paying good – you're gonna, you're spending your good spent money on quality and looks and just the feel for things. So just go after for it. But yeah. I could have sworn he was going to go line up and get content for the Oregon joints. Well, what happened? Well, I'm happy that you brought that up, Curtis, because guess what? Family – Tapped in on Friday. It just so happened. Uh oh, spaghetti yos. So I couldn't do the uh I couldn't do the in waiting in the line for that weekend. I had a great excuse on that one. But yeah. Um BG, real friends don't let friends rock reps. Well, that's the thing though. I always tell them, I always tell them, hey, listen, fam, if you are gonna be going for something that's a bit more undervalued, um, at least you're gonna get more bang for your buck because you guys are Getting the actual shoe and the actual tech and the actual, you know, fitting for the shoe. Don't just get the fakes because the fakes might look the part, but they don't feel the part, I would say. So I let them know, but they're like, yeah, I don't care. It's the same thing. And I'm like, okay, what's for, like, what are we, like, you know, what are we doing? That's about it, man. Friends with revs? Nah, we don't know them. Oh, that's crazy. But the thing is, family, it's like they're not my friends are not actual sneakerheads, though. I feel like, well, there's some good friends out there that I can consider uh, sneakerheads, but my friends, typically, I'm sure you guys got friends. Your closest friends are most likely not sneakerheads, unless they are. My Air Max One Oregon will be delivering tomorrow from Goat. The price for this went up. Nice. A blow up doll will make you a sandwich. Is crazy. This guy's always making excuses to send you. I know, family, but this one is actually a real one, man. Family took over, and listen, for me to wait in a line instead of me taking the time of day and, like, spending time with family, like, I wouldn't, I was not going to mess that up. What's the prices looking like for the 1 through 20, um, 1 through 225s? Uh, let me see. Air Max 
one Oregon, um, I guess, stock X. These are not it, are they? Which ones are they? You guys may have to look it for me. Because I, I won't be able to find that one. It's probably... It's probably going to be like somewhere around high 900s or like thousands range. <laughs> no one I associate would wear a fake shoe, says Curtis. Well, that's the thing, man. Some people care, some people don't. I honestly feel like... The majority of my friends just don't care. They just really don't care. Whatever they rock, they're not actual sneakerheads. They just like shoes for what it is, and that's about it. They don't really like pay no mind whether or not it's real or not. So if I tell them, listen, fam, go for that one. It's a little bit cheaper in the in, in retail price. If you don't want to spend that much money, go for that one. But they'll still choose over the looks, over the feel for aspect. So I'm just be like, okay, at least I tried. Doesn't mean I'll go for doesn't mean they won't go for real. Like they'll just, you know, they'll just be on that type of time where it's like, okay, if I can't get the the real, then I'll just go get the fake. Legit. Not so much me like again, I'm quoting my friends here, but yeah. I mean, even me, I'm I'm I, you guys can call me dumb for spending resale value on certain on certain shoes, but um, at least when I spend the resale money, I know what I'm getting myself into. I know for a fact that it's it's going to be towards something that's actually the main, the real thing. The real thing, I would hope, at least, right? He was like, yes, my fam came through. Now I don't have to make a line. Now I don't have to be in the cold and rain and not have to worry about anything else. So BG's real friends are what? BJ hanging out with buddy that drink dribble, that drunk dribble, and you know that guy don't care. Oh my gosh, that's crazy. No, that's not my buddy at all, man. That's not. That's just a flat out stranger up in there in the courts that I've hooped and got called out for, and that's about it. Um, but yeah, so Air Max is out of the way. So Air Max, Jackie Robinsons, and we're about to hit that 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time mark. Um, we still got plenty of time for some good old main attractions for this month. Let me see what else we got going on. So after the 15th, I think it starts to be a little bit more interesting for you guys because what do we got going down for the 15th? You guys got past the 15th. We fast forward to the 20th and the 20th. We guys got the green glows. Green Glow Ones. All right. Now, we've already seen the shot drop take place for the Green Glow Ones. Right? Green Glow One Jordan Highs. Hive. <clears throat> and here you guys go. So, if you guys already hit on the Green Glow One Highs on the shot drop, uh, congratulations. But these should be dropping somewhere near the 20th for this month. Anybody here looking forward to it with their misses or perhaps with their misters for some good old miss and matching vibes or some calm little Tiffany vibes going on? What are your thoughts on the Green Glow 1 highs? I've been hearing too many people saying that they're going to just wait it up after the release so that way they can get it even more below retail. But honestly, depends on what you guys would want to do. It's already going below retail, but I see them hitting a bit lower now too. Who needs money when he got hugs, LOL? Wait, what hugs? What hugs? My family doesn't hug me. We're, they're, they're very much distant with your boy BG. They don't, they don't hug your boy BG. They just give him a nice little high five and just call it a day. They don't like, they don't like huggies. They don't, they don't like being that type of huggy. Except for the little nieces, but... They don't, they don't show no love to your boy BG. They, they, they just... That anytime I see them, they're just like, yo, what up? What's new? Yeah, nothing much. What's new with you guys? Nothing much. And that's it. That's our hangout session. Very dry. Nah, I'm playing, family. I did get a lot of hugs. Corby, what's up? I remember the last so-called sneakerhead friend I had went out uh, with me, had on some rep uptowns, and it looked like he mowed the grass in them. He ain't talked to him since, says Corby. Hold up. Because I didn't... How do you guys tell, like, Rep Uptowns off the rip? Like, Rep, rep Uptowns are being sold like hotcakes in the city, right? But I can never tell the difference from a dis unless you guys really look closely and really see for what it is. Like, where do you guys, 
how do you even tell? Some of these some of these uptowns are so like are we talking about all white uptowns? Cause truth be told, family, it's really hard to get like to tell the difference. I don't know how you got the eye for that, Corby, because even for me, I'm like I don't really see uptowns and automatically assume that they're reps. I'm assuming that you just bought them. BG, what's the word with your boy Luca killing them rockets last night? Yo, let me know, man. If you guys are trying to tap in, tap in. I'm not really a Mavs fan, though. That's the thing. I'm more of a Luka Dantich fan and a Kyrie Irving fan, but I'm not more of a... I'd be lying to you guys if I would say if I'm a Mavs fan. But they are looking really good right now, man. They're looking really good together. That Air Max probably so clean they ain't even releasing them, says Trap. Yeah, most, most definitely. I usually let people with reps live unless they try to flex with them. I mean, I, I just really don't care. Even if the person is flexing them like they're saying that they're the shiz and stuff, I really don't care. I really don't. But just don't worry about me, though. Because, like, if you're calling me out for having a fake and I'm just like, I know damn well I don't got fakes, but it is what it is. It is what it is. If they want to think that, so be it. Think that. But... Just don't worry about me, cause I know I pay, I pay up, I pay up my vibe. Uh, good spin. Good morning, lovely people at BG Kicks and fan. What's going on, Gunner Man B? Benjamin, what's up, baby? Loaded up boys says queue up. Thank you so much, man. I said loaded up boys, but loaded up boys or loaded boys says queue up. So make sure you guys tap in, man. Thank you guys so much for the reminder, man. Tana says, "Yep, only thirty. Only 30. I've heard no one even mention this shoe. Who BG talking to, says Curtis? Just flat out. Just flat out. Not no sneakerhead. Not no sneakerhead vibes. The only sneakerhead friends that I have, honestly, fam, is like just two. Two. And then everybody else comes from the channel, man. No one in my fam is a sneakerhead um, like that to begin with. They just appreciate good looking shoes, but they're not so much sneakerheads. Um, my co-workers, not so much sneakerheads except for like probably just one. And then everybody else comes from straight from the channel. You guys are the only two, the only people that I really associate as, as friends and family that actually tap in with sneakers. Everybody else is just whatever it is. Morning fan, just waking up here on the West Coast. What's going on? Tech Media Films. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Good morning, good morning, good morning. I don't know. I don't own any fakes, but my friends wear fake shoes. I don't care, says the famous RH. I mean, it just doesn't matter to your boy. As long as they know what they're getting into. Now, if they didn't, that's where I would care and be like, all right, bro. I hope you know you spend your hard work and money on those fakes, and I hope you know what you're getting into, because then, you feel me? You're a lost cause, but they said they know, and that's perfectly fine. I'm like, okay, I respect it. What's for what's for eats? What are we doing? Halal? Are we doing some halal food today? And that's about it. Simple. It's as simple as it gets. I'm not gonna disown my friend just because he's rocking fakes. I'd feel some type of way, man. It'd be it's not about what they have. It's about who they are, man. Wait, what's dropping on finish line? We're about to see, man, if this is an April Fool's joke. We're about to see. Aaron, where have you been at, famo? Well, you try to get the Travis Scott University Reds, I will definitely try, and we will be going over as of right now, man. We are still on the 20th on the dates for Jordan 1 Green Glows, and then after this, I'll probably say the Pastoral SB Dunk Glows for the 22nd. That's still unconfirmed. I forgot what they're called, though. I forgot what they were called. Pastoral Print SB Dunk Glows or Pastoral SBs. These are it right here. So they are called pastorals. Pastorals. But these are supposed to be dropping somewhere around that 22nd timing. All right. This is still not 100% confirmed. But we should be seeing these bad boys for the 22nd. So if you guys are curious about this one right then and there, you guys can definitely let me know if it's a muscat for an SB. Definitely a pass for your boy BG. You guys can definitely, definitely let me know in the chat. All my siblings ask, "Why shoes?" Question mark. I asked them, "Why do you wear on? Uh, what do you wear on your feet?" <laughs> um, they wearing face. They'll steal from you. They'll steal from you. Nah, that's not true, family. Um, love elevens. That's what started it for me. Says Tanner. I love that. What's coming out on JD Sports? Question mark. I can't get in. It's all good, family. Give it some time. I'm not so sure what's gonna be going down for. I guess it's for some. 
Curry Flow 11s, but I don't know, man. Just for Curry Flow 11s, for there to be a queue up is crazy. Matt, what's up, baby? Good morning, man. Shout out to my blood type R with the corn Adidas. What about them, baby? Bummins is trap. Trap, what's up, baby? Burner, what's up? And once again, Tanner, if 11s definitely did start your love for collecting and shoes, that's amazing to hear, man, once again. Um, but anybody here going for the SB Pastoral, Pastoral, I don't even know how to pronounce them yet. Pastoral, Pastoral, SB Dunk Lows, anybody going for them? Yes, no, maybe so. Should be for the 22nd on that type of time and Bay B. Nothing too crazy on my behalf on that one. And then on the 24th, we should be seeing veneers. Okay, so the 24th for this month, veneers. They were supposed to be set to be releasing for the 11th, but it seems like they got pushed for their new drop date, which is the 24th. The 24th for veneers. I know some of you guys have been a fan favorite of this since 2020, since pandemic timings. Well, these are making a comeback, and it should be as similar to stock to the plums. So if you guys are locking in on that, the 24th on that one. If you guys are aiming for anything, also let me know in the chat. Kit today, if anybody's looking for this trap, what exactly is dropping for Kith Monday program, if I may ask? Um, Esquatch, what's up? Yak, yak, y'all. What's popping? What's going on, baby? Junk on JD. Are we finally in on JD? Because I still haven't gotten in on JD yet. G, you going for the Cactus Jack College Collection? Question mark. Probably not. But I would love to see what's going down. I say probably because I don't really know, man. Let's see what this is about. Some 9060s. A lot of people rocking some 96s and some Asics from what I've been seeing, man. Let's see what this is about. Some LeBron 21, some Dunk Lows, some Curry Flow 11s. Some Dunk Low Casual, Big Kid Shoes. Not, nothing crazy. We got some 14s for Big Kids. It's very dry for JD and Finish Line, family. Very dry. James West, I can't remember off the top of my head for the Space Jam 11 Lows. If anybody does know about Space Jam 11 Lows, pop it up in the chat. I can't recall for Space, uh, for Space Jam Lows. Geo Shoebox, what's up, man? Good morning. Good morning. I have my pair of 96s. How are they, man? Feel like they're on clouds? You feel like you're on clouds? Um, and then up next, you guys got Dion Sanders. All right. The DTs. All right. The Air Max DTs. All right. And I got to say, my apologies if I've ever offended you with the Air Max DTs. All right. Because them things. Or are they the 86s, right? 86. Right? Nope. What are they? 86s or 89s, family? For the DTs, the Deion Sanders. Oh, no. They're the 96s. I'm sorry. That's why. Where are they at? The black and white aesthetic. I guess I can't find them there. Air Max, Diamond Turfs, 96. These bad boys right here. So these will be dropping very, very soon on April 25th, if I'm not mistaken. Right? Let me just double check because I do have them in my notes. And I know, I remember, I said something about the DTs not being the most hyped up or a boring sneaker. And man, oh man, was I wrong. All right? So Nike Air Max DT Max 96 for those that are locking in for the 25th. Cop or drop on this shoe. Let it be known in the chat. If you guys are aiming for these, I could definitely pass up on these. But still, nonetheless, you guys are going to be going for them if you guys missed out on that shot drop from last time. Which were very, very few. You guys see resale value on these are going crazy. I didn't know they were that high on the resale market. But crazy, crazy, crazy. Unless it's the older. No, no, no. This is the same one. 2024. I was about to say. BG, do you trust StockX? I mean, I haven't shopped with StockX in a while, man. I really haven't, but I typically just do eBay or GOAT. You're not supposed to let your people move around and fix even if you got them right. Da, da, da. That ain't that what friends for, says Trap. But that's the thing, man. These people are grown enough 
Like, they're grown enough, and I'm telling them, I don't, I'm just saying, I try to help, but if you don't want to be saved, then don't be saved then. That's about it. If they don't want to be saved, don't save them. If they don't want to be, it's as simple as that. I'm not going to, they're grown ass people. What am I supposed to say? Like, what am I supposed to do? Just watch over them like babies? Like, no, don't buy that, bro. No, like, stop. No, what are you doing? No, like, come on. Like, what am I supposed to say? Like, chop off their legs before they drop, like, money on reps? Like, I can't do anything about that. I've tried my best to, like, consider them taking a retail pair over a rep. Yes, but I can't stop them. Stop! No! What are you doing? Like, I can't do much. I can't do much. I can't do much. The best that I can do is gift them some pairs and say, here you go, bro. Try to rock these over those any day. But that's about it, man. It's not like I haven't gifted them. It's not I haven't gifted them a pair or two occasionally when um when I could. When I can for the holiday seasons or whatever reason, birthday season, birthday vibes, all that. I ain't saving them, ain't being seen with them either, says Curtis. But why would you I'm just i I'm just curious, family, why would it matter? Because it doesn't really matter towards you though, no? That's them doing their thing. You're doing your own thing too. No? But yeah, so DTs for the 25th. BG nice about uh, talking about nice shoes when his friend have reps lying ass, says Curtis. Now, now, I never tell him nice shoes. I've accidentally, not to my friends, I'll just be on, I'll be honest with them and be like, yo, bro, you know what I'm about to tell you, right? You know what I'm about to tell you, right? Now, if it's anybody else, I mean, I'll probably be like, dude, I like your shoes. Just to be like, yo, you know, like just to like spark up the vibe and let them know. Did you know? But I won't bring them up unless they bring them up. Happy freaking Monday. Happy freaking Monday, Ari. More than happy April to everyone. Happy April, fam. BG, gift them his old pair, says George. Nah, man, I definitely don't be doing that like that. I mean, instead of me returning a pair, I'd rather just gift it. But, um... I definitely do uh, try to hook them up as much as I can. As much as I can, of course. Because, you know, your boy's struggling already as it is. But we we definitely try. Um, So we already went over 22nd. We already went over the 25th. Up next, the 26th. All right? And you guys heard that correctly. So up next, Travis Scott, Jumpman Jax, and that University Red for the 26th. I've also been hearing that the sale could be dropping on the 26th as well too. But I'm still unconfirmed on that date. Because I've been hearing the 30th as well. Um, according to certain sources up in there. Um, let me know in the chat. When it comes down to Jumpman Jax. What are your thoughts? Are these a cop or a drop? Whether it's the University Reds. Or the sale. Let it be known in the chat family. Let's start off with the University Reds. Um, we still haven't seen any early drops for University Reds. Uh, we've been seeing some images on them. I still haven't seen any on foot or any, or any, I would say, anybody grabbing them early. Uh, just a bunch of reps on YouTube, if I think, um, if I haven't seen already. Um, but I have seen the sales, though. I have seen a lot of people rock them. I've seen a lot of people wearing them. I've seen a lot of people get gifted from Nike and the Cactus Jack family. What are you guys' thoughts? Um... Well, my air flight Hirachis for Easter. Nice. Yeah, we'll get into that very soon, man. Cop for resales. Both cop. Better be a Shaq fan if you can't afford MJ. No thanks for me, says Matt. Cop and sell. Cop for resales. I love the honesty. Anybody else? Still want purple Barkley, says Big Daddy Cool Kicks. Thoughts for your boy BG. It's going to be for the personal. I need to grab this sale pair up for the personal. I'm hoping... Because uh, I think I'm looking forward to these more than the low Jordan 1 lows. I think so. I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to it. Can't go wrong with either or. But I still would probably choose the sale over the University Red. That red swoosh is nice and everything. But that sale pair is just easier to match with on a daily basis. Triple H goes sneaker shoe copping with Joe, uh, Joe La Pluma. There we go. 
I gotta watch that later on then. Yes, sir. Um, but yeah, so we're gonna be seeing for that April 26th or the April 30th frame, and just know that we should be seeing things load up very soon. So we'll start dropping you guys the content on that type of manner for Travis Scott. I don't want to drop consistent Travis Scott alerts because then you guys are probably gonna be not taking it as serious. So we're gonna try to drop you guys Travis Scott alerts. Um, probably like two weeks into the month, but we'll see if we hear anything else going down for Travis Scott's, um, we'll definitely, definitely pop it up. But, um, I think that pretty much concludes for this month for drops. Unless you guys see anything else, most likely we will talk about it for next week or this week when it comes down to it. I know there's going to be some new bounce. I know there's going to be some ASICs that I still haven't touched bases on, but truth be told family, I think that's the majority of stuff that people are looking forward to. Uh, or the majority of people that are looking forward to for this month of April. Uh, we're going to be touching bases probably later tonight or later in the afternoon. So if I am going to be going streaming again, just know that we're going to be streaming vertically. Um, I'm going to be streaming vertically in the afternoons just for the funsies. It's always a good time if you guys want to take tap in and show that love and support. Nothing too crazy. Probably going to be 30 minutes to an hour. Um, I'm trying to do those these vertical streams a shorter time period. So, in case you guys don't like them, I mean, we're not going to be staying on for too long. And it's just more of just a hangout session more than anything, like we are right now. Um, just more on that vertical time frame, so, or that 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 timing. So, um, if you guys do enjoy more content, like I said before, make sure you guys hit that bell icon, subscribe up. If you want to see the recap or what uh, we were talking about throughout the whole entire stream, Go ahead and drop me a nice little comment or go ahead and tap in with our latest video that we dropped you guys yesterday. Um, I'll try to see if I can drop you guys content when it comes down to shorts. Here you guys go. And um, once again, big shout out to Dez on upgrading her membership to being an exclusive member. Dez, I'm going to get your in whole information and we can definitely lock in outside of the stream. And you guys ha um, can have my direct contact on that type of time. And so thank you so much, Dez. I appreciate you. I love you guys. Thank you guys so much for the cons constant love and support, family. Because without you guys, I am nothing with this channel. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Love you guys so much. I appreciate you guys. Take care, brush your hairs. Enjoy the rest of your Monday if we don't see each other again. And once again, man, make sure you guys run up with positivity and love up in here. Because that's what we got. That's all we got up in here besides the sneakers, man. It's that love and positivity, man. So I love you guys so much. I'll see you guys on the next one, all right? Shout out to everybody that tapped in, man. Happy Monday, baby. Happy freaking Monday. Let's get it going, baby. I love you guys. I'm out. Peace, baby. Peace. Crazy. Hey.